Hello, and welcome to this introduction of the Kemp Ingress Controller for Kubernetes. The Kemp Ingress Controller is now part of the Technical Preview Program and can be deployed in two different modes, Service Mode or Ingress Mode. This Getting Started demonstration will focus on Ingress Mode, allowing DevOps teams to use Loadmaster as an Ingress Controller to replace those containerized Ingress found in Kubernetes today. You'll find many of the same components and walkthroughs I use for the services mode getting started video, but with ingress mode, things do change a little bit. From the AKS and Loadmaster deployment, everything's the same. I've deployed AKS using the Azure Quick Start Guide found at the following link, and I've deployed the Loadmaster in the same region, resource group, VNet, subnet, and NSG as AKS. But to demonstrate ingress mode a bit clearer, I've added another app deployment and service called Guestbook from the following link. With the voting app from the Azure Quick Start Guide and this Guestbook app, I'll have the ability to use the Kubernetes ingress configuration to automatically publish these through the Loadmaster for users to access. Okay, jumping right in, I've already went through the Azure Quick Start and I've created the AKS cluster. Opening up the Cloud Shell, I could do a kube ctl, get nodes, and I have only one node in this cluster, which is enough for this demonstration. I've already deployed a loadmaster out of the Azure Marketplace, but haven't done anything else to it at this point. Now, I won't go through and deploy another loadmaster, but I will quickly walk through the steps just to highlight some of the required configuration. Now, you could use scripts or an ARM template to deploy Loadmaster, but in this demo, I'm just going to walk you through the marketplace to create it manually. So we'll start off to create a new resource. I'll search for Kemp and select Loadmaster. And for this demo, I'm just going to select the BYOL trial SKU, but the hourly SKUs work as well. The first thing I want to make certain of is that I select the same resource group as the AKS cluster. This resource group is the one that gets created automatically by Azure and has the components such as the VNet and the NSG associated with it. Uh, of course, we want to give the Loadmaster a name and make sure that it's in the same region as the AKS cluster. In my case, it's East US. Uh, feel free to change the size of the VM. Uh, you, know, you don't necessarily need that much horsepower for a demo like this. Uh, and then give the Loadmaster a password. Moving on to disks, you can just keep the defaults here. But in networking, we want to be sure that the VNet and the subnet are the ones used for AKS. I also want to keep the public IP so external users can access the voting and guestbook apps. And then finally, uh, I'm going to go ahead and select that AKS uh, NSG. Under management, I'm just going to turn off the auto shutdown. And then for the rest, I can just keep the defaults and then I would just go ahead and uh, click Create here. So while the Loadmaster is, is getting created and uh, or, or following the creation of the Loadmaster, we just need to go to the NSG, uh, the Network Security Group, to add two inbound rules. One is for TCP port 8443 to access the Loadmaster web user interface, and then the other one is TCP 80 so we can access the apps. Uh, with AKS and Loadmaster deployed, uh, I just need to install the Loadmaster add-ons to support Kubernetes. Uh, with that, on the Loadmaster, I'll navigate to System Configuration, System Administration, and Update Software. Now, at this point, you would have already downloaded, well, you would have enrolled and then downloaded the Kubernetes package through the Technical Preview Program. Now, details on the program can be found at camp.ax slash techpreviews. Now, once downloaded, under Installed Add-on Packages, just click Choose File, and then select the Kubernetes add-on, and then click Install Add-on Package. Let's go ahead and click OK to uh, on that confirmation. And then once again, I'll choose File, and now I'll select the Ingress add-on, and then again, Install Add-on Package. Okay, click OK on the confirmation. Now just click System Reboot and Reboot. 
Now I'm just going to pause the video for a minute while this reboot occurs and come back to finish up the configuration. Okay, following the reboot, if I now go under System Configuration and Miscellaneous Options, I have this new LM Ingress Controller option. Within this add-on, this is where I have the ability to select between that service and ingress mode. Also, where I need to add the kube config file to enable the communication between Loadmaster and Kubernetes. To get that kube config, I can simply go back to the Azure Cloud Shell, select Download, and then enter the following path, .kube slash config, and then click Download. Now, I just simply go back to the Loadmaster, select that kube config file, and click Install. All right, now we have the uh, AKS deployed, Loadmaster deployed. We have that communication between the two set up. Uh, the only thing to do now is deploy my voting in uh, guestbook apps. So I won't go through these line by line, but I've uh, taken the deployment and service configurations from the links I had provided before, and then put them into some digestible YAML files. For the first one here, I have my deployment for the Azure voting app. This consists of a back-end deployment and a front-end deployment. Uh, each of these deployments are only going to deploy one replica or pod. The next YAML is the services for these voting deployments. Uh, I want to be sure that I'm using cluster IP for the front-end service running on port 80. And next, I have the guestbook deployment, which consists of three. Uh, it has a guest back master, a guest back slave, and then the guest front. The guest front has a replica count of three pods. And once again, a YAML file for the service configuration for the guestbook app, making sure that the guest front has cluster IP set as the type. And finally, because we're using ingress mode on the loadmaster, a Kubernetes ingress configuration is needed. This YAML file requires the following annotations to specify the ingress class as Kemp LB, and then the virtual service IP, port, and protocol. In the specs, here's what's going to be published on the Loadmaster, including the host names that will be used to access the apps. Now, I used the upload feature in the Cloud Shell, and I've already added these YAML files for me to apply to AKS. So uh, let me just start off using the kubectl and apply the guest deployment.yaml. And now I'll do the guest service. And then the vote deployment and vote service next. Now I'm going to go ahead and do a kubectl get pods. And I can see everything is up and running. I have my three uh, guest front end pods, as well as my one Azure vote front pod. And now I just need to apply the ingress configuration to Kubernetes. And I'll just quickly do a get ingress. Okay, and once again, all looks good. Now, if I jump back to Loadmaster and I'll do a refresh, uh, we'll see a virtual service and two sub-virtual services are now available and we're going through the process to, of checking the health of them. Okay, everything looks healthy. Uh, I'll go ahead and expand the virtual service so we can see some details as to the two apps we've deployed. So the voting app, uh, as we know, has a single pod running, uh, whereas the guest book has three supporting the app. In addition to the sub-virtual service creation, two content rules were also created to support the routing of traffic. In this example, we have vote.kemp.ax and guest.kemp.ax, which were taken from the Kubernetes ingress config. These two content rules were also applied to the sub-virtual services using the Loadmaster content switching capabilities. So by clicking into rules for each sub-VS, you'll see the necessary host for each. Now, if I go ahead and open up a new tab, uh, go to vote.camp.ax, oh, we'll see what brings me up to the uh, Azure voting app. 
and then click around in here for a bit. And then if I go back and I change the URL to guest.camp.ax, this will bring me to the guest book. Now in the event one or more of these need to scale, if I go back to the Azure Cloud, uh, the Azure Cloud Shell, and issue a kubectl scale command and increase, uh, see the voting app to two replicas. We'll see the load master will automatically pick that up, and we can add or remove pods based on the the scale out and scale in nature of Kubernetes. Now, if you're looking to adopt Kubernetes in your organization, I invite you to enroll in the technical preview program kick the tires with the Kemp Ingress controller, and provide us some feedback. For more information, visit us at kemp.ax. Thanks for watching.